we're going to go ahead and work through our 8.1 to 8.3 quiz review. I'll just be doing most of the odd questions, and then you can use the do the even ones. Uh, the answer key is included with your worksheet. So here we go, the first several questions in this review. The directions say perform the indicated operation. So we're going to be adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, and finding the composition of two functions. So in number one, it says find g plus h of x. This simply means we want to find g of x plus h of x. And so we have negative 3x minus 2 plus x squared minus 1. And we just add like terms. So x squared is our largest exponent, and then we have minus 3x, and then we have negative 2 plus negative 1 is negative 3. And that's all you have to do for addition. Subtraction is next. Number three, we have h of, or h minus g of n, which again is the same as h of n minus g of n. We do want to be careful with this negative. We need to put parentheses around g of n. You can put parentheses around both to show the two functions, but you definitely have to put it around the g of n because you're subtracting and that subtraction will get distributed. And so that's what we'll do here. We'll distribute the negative. We have n plus three minus n cubed plus four n squared. That's the most common errors when people forget to distribute the negative here. And there's actually no like terms here, so we'll just put this in descending order. Negative n cubed plus 4n squared plus n plus 3. And number 4 will work similar similarly. Number 5 is multiplication. Once again, g times f of x just means g of x times f of x. g of x is x minus 4, f of x is negative x plus 2. And now we distribute. A lot of times we use the idea of FOIL to multiply these, but it is just a distributive property. First, outer, so we have negative x squared plus 2x plus 4x, because we have a negative times a negative. And then negative 4 times negative, or positive 2 is negative 8. These two terms are like terms. So y equals negative x squared plus 6x minus 8. And then number 7 is division. So a lot of times we actually don't do much with the division. We simplify if possible. So g of n over f of n, this is 2n over 2n minus 1. There's no division we can do there. We do, or we can state that the denominator can't equal 0. So I'm going to put a semicolon and then 2n minus 1 2n minus 1 cannot equal 0, and we've, we solve that. We add 1 to both sides and divide by 2. So our answer is 2n over 2n minus 1. And this time I'll just write the word where. Where, oops, I forgot my not equal to, n does not equal 1 half. N can equal one half because it would make the denominator equal to zero. Next page, but still operations. And this would be our newer operation to us. This says G composed with H of N. And so what this means is this is G of 
h of n. You put the h function in for n into the uh, g function. And so I just like to keep writing this. So this is actually g of, well, what's h of n? So g of n squared minus 3n. And now what we are going to do is we're going to take this n squared minus 3n and put it in for n into the g function. So we replace that n with the n squared minus 3n. So this is going to be 3 from our g function. So we're going to use this times n, but we're replacing n with the n squared minus 3n plus 3. And now we take a couple steps to simplify that. And actually, it only took one step because there's no like terms to add after that. And number 11, this is a little bit different because it's asking f composed with g of 0. So there's actually two ways to do this, but since there's a number here, instead of just of x, what we can do is we can think, we can kind of start the right same way, f composed with g of 0, but we know what to do with g of 0. g of 0 means you put 0 into the g function. And so let's do that. What is it if we put 0 in for x? Well, that's 3 times 0, which is 0, plus 1. So g of 0 is just 1. And now we do f of 1, which means we put 1 into the f function. So this is 4 times 1 plus 1, which equals 5.